Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Maupay na kulog sa tanan. We are now in our seventh day, Novena Mass, for our annual celebration of the Fiesta of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And we continue to offer in this Mass all our thanksgiving to God for the many blessings and graces that He showered upon us, for the gift of life and for the gift of family. As we continue to pray for the fast solution of this pandemic, divine protection against COVID-19, and gift of healing for those who are sick and to those who take care of the sick. And we also pray for the intentions of the officers and members and their loved ones of the Calvayunon Association of Cebu, as well as for the intentions of our seventh day Novena Mass sponsors for the family of engineer and attorney Ted and Fe Ortiz and son GM, Mr. and Mrs. Rolly Pombroa and daughter, Mr. and Mrs. Cedric Santos and children, and the heirs of Antonio and Flora Kunanan and children. And for the intention of our fiesta hermana, Dr. and Doctora uh, Ralph Adrian and uh, Angela Dira and family, as well as for the intentions of the members of the Sarmiento and Dira families. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I am filling up what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ on behalf of his body, which is the church, of which I am a minister in accordance with God's stewardship given to me to bring completion for you the word of God, the mystery hidden from the ages from the generations past, but now it has been manifested to his holy ones to whom God chose to make known the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. It is Christ in you, the hope for glory. It is He whom we proclaim, admonishing everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom, that we may present everyone perfect in Christ. For this, I labor and struggle, 
in accord with the exercise of this power working within me. For I want you to know how great a struggle I am, having for you and for those in Laodicea and all who have not seen me face to face, that their hearts may be encouraged as they are brought together in love, to have all the riches of a short understanding for the knowledge of the mystery of God, Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song. Let be our response. In God is my safety and my glory. In God is my safety and my glory. Only in God be at rest, my soul. For from He comes my hope. He only is my wrath and my salvation, my stronghold. I shall not be disturbed. Response. In God is my safety and my glory. Trust in Him at all times. O oh, my people, pour out your hearts before Him. God is our refuge. Response, in God is my safety and my glory. According to Luke. On a certain Sabbath, Jesus went into the synagogue and taught, and there was a man there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees watched him closely to see if he would cure on the Sabbath so that they might discover a reason to accuse him. But he realized their intentions and said to the man with the withered hand, Come up and stand before us. And he rose and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I ask you, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? Looking around at them all, he then said to him, Stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was restored. But they became enraged and discussed together what they might do to Jesus. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Once again, my hapon sa tanen, my kulok. Yesterday's gospel on the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time, we were recounted on the healing miracle by Jesus to the deaf and mute man in Decapolis. Wherein this uh, foreshadows of the spiritual healing of the two senses of hearing and speaking where faith is being nourished. When we can hear, not just in our ears, but in our hearts, the Word of God, it permeates in our being. And when the more, the more that we hear the Word of God, the more that we have the heart to proclaim it. And in this sense, faith will surely be nourished. In our Gospel of today, we see another healing miracle of our Lord Jesus Christ to this person with withered hand. Kuyot o kamot. Kamot na di mamuka. Ang isang kamot na di kibaw mangayo. Magsigilang pangumo. Kay suko siguro ka ayun eh. No? Magkuyawan tayo ni kay nagsigilang pumo. And yet, there is this kind of parallelism in our gospel today. Where the man with withered hand is surely is having a physical ailment and physical illness. And the other kind of illness is found in the persons of the Pharisees and the scribes 
who were plotting something evil against the Lord for doing something during the Sabbath day. Recalling that the that these the Israelites were very strict in observance of making their Sabbath day as holy as possible, that no other work is permitted other than of praising Yahweh. And yet, there is this kind of a spiritual malady in the persons of the scribes and the Pharisees. When Jesus asked the man with the withered hand to stretch your hands right before the eyes of the Pharisees and the scribes, it is when the Lord wants us to realize that more than physical ailment, the worst ailment that a person could ever endure is the, is the spiritual malady. It is the closeness, not just of the hand, but the closeness of the heart to accept the authority of God in one's life. It's just like resisting God in our hearts. It's just like saying that I can do better than your plans, Lord. I can do better of my life even without you, without your authority being imposed on me. I can do just better. And this is the kind of a spiritual malady, a malady that is based on lying, a malady that is based on deception. And this is what happened to the Pharisees and the scribes. They were deceived by their own self-righteousness. They were living in the foundation of a lie that they don't need God in their lives. And if we try to bring this into our lives today, there are so many times in which we resist God. There are so many times in which we take pride over the calling of humility, of the somehow making ourselves to be self-righteous of this auto, this kind of a thinking of this autosufficient mentality that we can be, that we are, and all our efforts are sufficient enough. But if we try to see the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary coming to, into this reflection, coming to apply in the very issue in our gospel today, the Blessed Virgin Mary brings in our mind of the right attitude when it comes to our self or our total reliance on God and never of that also resilient or also sufficient mentality like that of the Pharisees and the scribes. Because the Blessed Virgin Mary would acknowledge their loneliness. The Blessed Virgin Mary would always acknowledge the greatness of God in her very famous Magnificat. The first lines would be praising God and not praising her to be chosen as the mother of God. She praises first the greatness of the Lord and even calling her to be just the lowly servant. And this is the kind of an attitude that is very much opposed to the attitude of the scribes and Pharisees in our gospel today, of this spiritual illness of indifference, the spiritual illness of self-righteousness, the spiritual illness of taking much pride in what the self can do and never relying everything to God, just like the attitude of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Somehow, this is all our issues in life. This is something that we should always overcome through prayers, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that she would guide us the proper way of how it is to lead a life of humility, a life of always relying on God, always thinking that it is in God that all our human endeavors come to their fulfillment. Amen. Please and let us pray the prayers of the faithful. For us Christians, there is no higher law than the gospel command of loving God and neighbor. Let us affirm this belief as we pray for the needs of each member of the church as we say, Make us life-giving, O Lord. Together. 
Make us life giving, O Lord. That the church may always be renewed and purified by the words of Christ's gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Make us life giving, O Lord. That those in authority may be guided by wisdom when making decisions and setting priorities. Let us pray to the Lord. Make us life giving, O Lord. That our worship may reflect our sincerity and dedication to the humble service of God and neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Make us life giving, O Lord. That we may bring hope to the despairing and comfort to the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Make us life giving, O Lord. That the dead may now rest in the company of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Make us life giving, O Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us present to God all our individual intentions and petitions, the intentions of our loved ones, and all the intentions of our Lady Holy Mass and intentions and roots of those people whom we promise to pray for. Let us pray to the Lord. Make us life giving, O oh Lord. Heavenly Father, you search our hearts and you know our innermost thoughts. Inspire our hearts for more sincere worship and our hands for more willing service to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God our Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of His name, for the good and the good of all this church. We offer you the sacrifice of praise the Lord as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your son. Grant we pray that through this most holy exchange we may advance towards eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the blessed ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions and Lord, and power symbol before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim.
holiness, may fully therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the twofold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood is the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, and Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. who said to our apostles, Peace, I live you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation and of faith, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that we who devoutly honor the Blessed Virgin Mary may be worthy to share with her in the charity of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray the Oratio in Perata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has distorted and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Saint Joseph. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Saint your son Roque. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Saint Pedro Camusol. Mga kasalamat, our gratitude to our seventh day Navina Mass sponsors or engineer and attorney Ted and Fe Ortiz and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rolly Tomroa and family, Mr. and Mrs. Cedric Santos and family, and heirs of Antonio and Flora Cunanan and family, as well as for the 2021 Fiesta Hermana, Dr. and Dr. Ralph Adrian and Angela Kira and family, as well as for our gratitude to the officers and members of the Agrignon Association of Cebu, to the members of the Sarmiento and Tira families, our technicalities, Andrew, Jasmine, and Jennifer. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you and your loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Didasang pagkauray o pagkairoy ni Maria Santisima 
na himo siya nga susgaranan sa santos sa simbahan sa Dios. Ang simbahan nga aton iroy sa tinuuhan magtitipig sa kauray dida sa kabugos sa iya pagtuo dida sa kabaskog sa iya paglaong o dida sa katangkod sa iya pagtigugma magampo kita sa ginoo nga iya paghingpiton ang iya simbahan basi kung ilala ang tanan ng mga tao na ini nga simbahan mao ang imbili ni Su Kristo tini sa tuna na tigaman sa katalwasan Please turn to page one. Magagarahong nga amay, imog yung palangga, o yung palabian baraan nga Birhen Maria, sa natanan nga imo tinguha, kay imo man siya ginpili, sinwaray pa mga katuigan, na magin irusan imo bugtong nga anak, natanan. Pamati a kami nga anhiyana, nagkakatitirok sa pagdayig sa iya, o gihatag sa amon ang amon mga pinangangarok. Nino o Iso Kristo, nagpakatakos ka sa pagkatao sa tiyan ni Maria, ug imo siya gintahod, ug ikugma nga imo matuod nga iroy, na tanan. Tutduy kami sinhingpit nga pagdayig sa iya, din hi sini nga amon novena, sugad san imo karuyag nga amon siya pagdaygon. Santo si Espiritu, ikaw ang naglarang nga ini nga putli nga virhin maging iroy sa Diyos, ug pinaagis ang grasya ni Iso Kristo, Magin iluy maliwat namun. Nga tanan, Andaman amun mga kasing-kasing, Kung mga huna-huna, Simbungahan na pagsalin uro, Sang kadlawan niya, Basi didasang pagkaangbit namun, Sang panabang, Sinimanta nga baraan nga Virgen Maria, May usa kami sa imo santos na Trinidad, Uusa lang at Diyos, Nga buhi o nagahadi, sa dayon ng mga katuigan, matuman unta. Berin sa grada Maria, patubara din sa gugma, mahal kung daw mutya, imusing kami Sa kanadang kamamatay 
sa santos sa simbahan sa bukos ng kalibutan basitagan kita sa Diyos sin pagkamurayaw o pagkaurusa baton nagaampo kami sa ihan virhen nga mananabang pamatia kami tungod sa santos sa papa si basi siya pagunahan sa Espiritu Santo sin pamiling sa matuod nga o kaapayan sa bungto sa Diyos din hinsini nga magkuri ng mga panahon. Baton, Nag-aampo kami sa ino, Virhen nga mananabang, Pamatia kami. Tungod ka sa amon Senyor Obispo, Obispo Abarques Calbayo, Basi makaagisyasin maupay ka mga paagi, Sa pagdumara sininga bahin sa simbahan sa Diyosis sa Calbayo. Baton, Nag-aampo kami sa ino, Virhen nga mananabang, Pamatia kami. Tungon sa amon mga sakop sa simbahan sa Diyos, basi magsaksi sira sa pagkabanaw ni Su Kristo, pinaagi sa kakistuhanon na kinabuhi, o pinaagi sa ira pagbuhat sa apostolado. Baton, Nagaampo kami sa imo, Virgen na mananabang, Pamatia kami. Tungon sa amon na tanan, Basi dayuday dahi dumdum kami nga mga lumalabay la kami dinhi sa tuna kung mamulat kami sin dako nga paglaom sin paghiusa sa Dios didto sa Himaya upod sa imo ug sa natanan nga mga santos baton nagaampo kami sa imo Virgen nga mananabang pamatia kami magampo kita Dios nga makagarahon ginhimo mo si Maria Nahimpit ka susgaranan para sa imo simbahan. Ito, good God, na tungon sa iya kampuli, mapuro kong taini nga maimo simbahan, kung luman daw sugal sintigaman sa pagkasantos, basi ang natanan ng mga tao, mag-aghat si pagkasakop sa iya, tungon ka ni Su Cristo na among ginoo, matuman unta. Let us pray for all our families, for peace in our families, unity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto the souls of our ancestors, relatives, friends, loved ones, especially Cardinal Rosales, and our brothers and sisters who went before us. May their souls and the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Daghang salamat, Maria. Daghang salamat sa imong 
ka ayu da kang salamat Maria da kang salamat among inahan sa imong ka ayu sa imong pagmahal kani mo kami magpa salamat sa imong kaayu sa imong pagmahal kani mo kami magpa salamat daghang salamat Maria Daghang salamat Sa imong kaayo Daghang salamat Maria Daghang salamat Among inahan Sa imong kaayo Sa imong pagmahal Gani mo kami magpasalamat Sa imong kaayo Sa imong pagmahal Gani mo kami magpasalamat